for and the band that it represents. A guy came in with one of Peter Max's iconic paintings of the Statue of Liberty. It's definitely cool, but I don't know what it's for. So I called in Brett to help me out. This is it, the Peter Max. Peter Max. He's one of those few artists that, you know, when you see him, you know it's a Peter Max. This is a nice look. He was also very much into American jazz. And he was one of the very first artists that would paint to music. Uh, he would actually, you know, play the music. And you can see that his work, even to this day, has a real lyrical quality. You can almost imagine the jazz music playing in the background as he applies the colors. Peter Max is a very interesting artist. He's probably the most omnipresent artist you'll find. Uh, his work can be found on the side of cruise ships, on album covers, you name it. Uh, ever since the 60s, he's been identifiable for his semi-psychedelic and just very fluid abstract compositions. What I'd like to do is just take a closer look. I just want to see maybe if it's a printed base, if he embellished, or if it's a completely one-of-a-kind work. A lot of times, the image of the Statue of Liberty would be a lithograph, and then he would add dollops of acrylic to the top of it. I don't think that's the case with this one. I think the visage was applied with a stencil. you might see the same work for $50,000. But you're so clever, you might find the same work selling for $10,000 on the internet. So that's the conundrum. So I think an appropriate value for a 